Hi, and welcome to Deeply Connecting. My name is Robin Custer, and the idea behind the channel is growing in our connection with God and with others. And today I have Benjamin here. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Um, and he is going to share with us about how he connects with God through hearing his voice. I've um, Over the years, I myself have often wonder like how do people hear god's voice so i'm excited to hear your thoughts on it yeah um so tell us about that hearing yeah. the voice of god so uh it's definitely something that i'm growing in um every day every week every year it's um not any given formula of this is how you hear god's voice but i'll just share some um i guess stories and things that I feel like um, the Lord's taught me about hearing His voice. And um, one of the ways that I've really grown lately in and I feel like is really close to His heart is hearing the Lord's voice in community. And the Lord has um, invited me into this really special community in L.A. Um, where people are just really hungry for his presence and for him and his kingdom and his purposes and doing it together and in unity and in family. And um, so one of the ways that we practice hearing his voice is together. And we will ask the Lord to speak with several people in the room, like, what are you saying about someone so we'll like take turns hearing the lord for one another and so like for instance we'll um start with say robin and like everybody in the room will ask the lord like lord what are you saying about robin and like what do you want to speak to her today you know and um and so the community um style of hearing god is 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 a safe place to like fail to like not be perfect and to just like speak what you feel like the Lord's saying and um and a lot of times they'll speak through visions and so like people will get visions and then oftentimes um what we think we're hearing will kind of line up with what someone else is hearing and what they're verbalizing and so then it encourages the other people in the room and you start to see this like feeding off of one another of like and it's it's crazy how the holy spirit will begin to move and in, in community and when two or three are gathered you know he's with us and so it's um a really powerful way that the lord speaks and he it creates unity in his body mm -hmm. and like this is a spotless bride that he's like longing for and coming back for is a unified bride mm -hmm. that is longing to hear his voice together and they're being vulnerable with one another and they're being courageous and bold and they're speaking out these seemingly crazy visions that they feel like the lord is giving them because we are inviting the lord to speak to us, to give us words, visions, scriptures um, for one another. And so um, your faith is really increased and also just like um, hearing other people and then you feeding off of that. And, and it's like affirming of like, oh yeah, I heard that too, you know? And so it's like, helping you grow in confidence that I can hear God's voice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what does his voice sound like? Yeah. So I think it's just like things that like, if I'm asking the Lord, like, what is he saying about someone or like, what is he um, speaking or what does he want to speak? It's oftentimes for me, it'll be like um, a vision or just a thought that, comes into my mind and um i i know often if it's from the lord or not if it's like some because i know his word and i know his character and i know like he his heart is always to encourage um 
And so that helps me affirm that, oh yeah, this is, this is an aspect of the Lord. Like I can see the Lord in this mm -hmm. because we know he's good and we know his character. Um, so that's like how to set now, oftentimes, like when I get a vision, like I may just speak it out and not fully understand what it means. And even like, as I'm speaking it, like ask the Lord, like, show me what this means. Or like maybe before I speak it, like really asking, okay, Lord, like, what does this mean? Or sometimes like, even like Google a vision of like, like, something in the vision like mm. you know what's the mean meaning of this yeah. um like i had a girl that got a word for me and she was like talking about this totem pole i see a totem pole and like i see the lord like splitting this thing in half and like i'm not a, i'm gonna google a totem pole because i'm not fully and so like a totem pole is like a testimony of stories basically it's like markings on a pole that are like mm. different stories mm. and um so like even using the internet to like help bring clarity to a vision um that we feel like believe is given from the lord because we're asking the lord to speak and then i'm getting this image in my head and like what does it mean yeah and so yeah so is it that simple the the process of just you know, asking God, will you speak to us? And then going with whatever you see or hear? Yeah, I mean, it, and it's also just like knowing that like, it's okay to like not get it perfect and like being in an environment where it's a safe place to grow. Mm -hmm. It's a safe place to take risks. Mm -hmm. It's a safe place to say like, this is kind of wild, but this is what I'm sensing. This is what I think I'm hearing. This is what... And also just being really humble, too, of like, I feel like this is what the Lord's saying. Like, you know, I'm I'm still human and I'm still growing in this. So it's it's not like we always want to take what the Lord, um, what what he speaks to other people to the Lord. Like you always want to like go back to the Lord and say, OK, Lord, like, is that really from you? And how does this apply to my life? And so um yeah, I mean, there's no formula, but this is just ways that I've found that I've really grown in hearing the voice of the Lord for for myself and other people um, is in the midst of community. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. When, when you hear something as opposed to a vision um, or a thought necessarily, uh, does it sound like a big booming voice or just even like your own voice? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, I think that's oftentimes like a big struggle is like, is that my own thoughts? Is that my own voice? Is that the Lord's voice? Um, and I think it just comes with trial and error to and practice of like, you know, if you're by yourself, like journaling it out, like what you think you're hearing and then like looking at it, like, does this align with God's character? Does it align with scripture? Does it align with, you know, the heart of the father. Um, and then that's the beauty of in community too, is like a lot of times it'll be affirmed and like people will hear similar things that will kind of affirm what the Lord's speaking in the room. And so that's like where we really grow in confidence of like, yeah, like that. And so like in other times where like, maybe we're kind of off in left field and feedback is also like really important, like where it's really healthy to like, Hey, that word that I felt like I got for you the other night, like when you went back to the Lord, like, did that resonate? Like which parts of that, like, do you feel like we're mm -hmm. off or not or, you know, and so getting feedback is like really healthy. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's healthy also for the person that's getting the word and, and the person that's trying to hear for other people, because um, sometimes it can be taken, like it's just really healthy to communicate about it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. So if you're off on something, um, what do you do with that? You just own it. Like, yeah, like I don't always hear perfectly and like, 
that's okay. Like it's part of growing with the Lord and like we continue to invite him into it. And like, I'm growing in this and like, I'm not afraid to fail. And like, I'm trusting that the Lord's grace is going to abound more than anything. And and that I'm not going to fear failure of not hearing right. Um, you, You just, you own it and you work through it and you, you just, be humble and vulnerable before the Lord with it is, is the best way I know how to do that. Yeah. 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 How, in what ways do you feel like, uh, growing in hearing God's voice has helped you connect with him and with other people? Mm. Yeah. So it's like so fun when you are in a, a room of people that are, trying to hear the voice of the Lord and you're doing it together and you're so encouraged by hearing others speak life into other people. And it just creates this sense of like love and unity and um, just like encouraged. Um, I mean, like Paul talks about like pursue prophecy above all the other gifts, like, Mm -hmm. because it's so powerful. It's so encouraging. Yeah. And it's um it creates unity amongst the body. It creates um just a sense of a yeah, just encouragement that um we need so badly to be encouraged. Um I don't know if I'm yeah. fully answering That's your question. Um yeah, I think so. So like through doing it in community, it sounds like it it's, uh, creates a life giving environment where yeah. y'all can like just. Um, it sounds like there's a lot of vulnerability there too. Definitely, and which also connects people. Definitely, yes, yeah. Being vulnerable is is so powerful um, because it allows the spirit to move and a teachable heart Mm -hmm. like the Lord loves a teachable heart. And like when we are vulnerable, we're teachable. Mm -hmm. And when we are open to even correction and like, it's okay to like step out and, and say what we feel or think we're hearing And like, it's okay if it's not perfect or right on, like that's how we grow. Mm -hmm. And so not being afraid to fail. um, And yeah, just being willing to be vulnerable because that's really humility. Yeah. Like we're called to humble ourselves and like to be humble is to, to really be vulnerable and, and also just like dependent on the Lord. Like, Lord, this is, like if it's not from you, it's it's not worth. It doesn't hold weight, you know. Mm-hmm. It's like I I want to be hearing from you. I want it to be you, and I have to be vulnerable and allow myself to look like like an idiot at times or whatever. Like be okay with just like being real, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, imagine um, hearing God's voice on how He sees other people, or or the thing, the way that He loves them, probably helps people connect too. Totally. And yeah. 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 He his his heart for um, other in the in the way that brothers and sisters can hear for each other is so powerful. Mm. Um. It, it's such a special thing when when you receive words from brothers and sisters that just it it has a way of just really touching you in ways that when we just are sitting alone with the lord like um you know when you just hear through other people and again it's like the lord is after unity in the body and like i'm reminded like the scripture of all parts of the body are just as important as the other. And there's no piece that's less important. The fingernail is just as important as the finger. Mm -hmm. And like, if the fingernails not 
intact like it affects the whole body oh yeah and so like just how important it is to be unified and to be in sync with one another and like i really believe that like we're supposed to be hearing the lord together like Mm -hmm. as his body like we are supposed to be that's what we're here to get we're not meant to do this alone and on our own and so he desires for his bride to come together and be vulnerable with one another and and hear what he wants to say and how how he's moving and working and um and also too it just it brings safety too of just like the discernment with others of like um you know helping uh lead each other into like you know like this is we know this is god's character you know so like affirming that and and then also times where it's like hey like this doesn't line up with who we know god is and so like that's um you know that may not be from the lord you know and that's how we grow too you know and that's where the feedback is really yeah really important that's really good yeah there was um it reminds me of a time that i had where like i go through these seasons of um well, I wouldn't really say seasons. Anyway, I've had this experience <laughs> where I, I was wanting to hear from God and, and then I, you know, was hearing from him, I believe. And then I got something that like didn't sound like him at all. And I was like, ah, I'm not hearing from you. Yeah. And just like wanted to toss a baby out with the bathwater totally. and just like not want to hear anything yes. because I was so afraid of like, that I wasn't hearing actually from him. Yeah. And I felt like his response to me was just because you're hearing other voices too, doesn't mean you're not hearing me. Yeah. You're just also hearing other voices. Yeah. No, that's real. <laughs> and, and you need to learn discernment. Yes. And I was like, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Yeah. That's spot on. And that's part of growing and just like also the importance of his word and just knowing his word and being founded in, the truth of his word and then also surrounding ourselves with other people that know the word and under teaching that's based in the word and i mean that's why we have to know the word so well too if it's taught from the pulpit like Mm -hmm. it should resonate Mm -hmm. we should know if it's lines up like and you know when your heart leaps when it some when you hear truth and it just resonates because you know it's true Mm -hmm. because you've you've seen it in the word you you've read it enough to know this is the father's heart and it resonates as truth yeah and so that's where the discernment comes in of just like growing and knowing the character of god and who he is yeah Yeah. I'm, i'm reminded of this story um I was fasting and I'm like pressing in and I'm trying to hear the Lord and I have in my mind like what this afternoon's gonna look like and I'm gonna go down to the beach and I'm gonna sit with the Lord and I felt like the Lord said to go to this resort in Palo Verde's called Terranade and it's this like really fancy resort and um, it's like 30, 40 minutes away from where I'm at and I'm feel like he's like, I want you to drive to Terranade. Mm-hmm. And I'd never been there before, but I'd heard about it. And so I'm like, all right. And so I'm just like, I'm going to go out on a limb and like trust that I'm hearing the Lord. And so I drive out there and I get there and there's all these cars parked along the street. There's like no parking anywhere. And like you go up to the thing and there's like this valet thing and it's like, 40 or 50 dollars to oh, park wow. it's like crazy oh, wow. and i'm just like there's no way i'm paying like i don't even know what i'm doing here other than yeah. like you told me to drive here lord and so i like pull up and there's this little bitty parking lot off to the left and i pull up to the valet and they're like i'm like is there any self-parking and they're like well there's this little lot here but there's no spots over there but you know you're welcome to try and then leave you know and so i'm like pulling in and i'm just like lord like do i even hear your voice like this is ridiculous. Like I've driven all the way out here and like what's happening. And I'm just like really upset with the Lord. And I'm like looping around the parking lot 
And I mean, it's like probably literally like 40 spaces in this whole lot and it's packed. And right as I'm like looping around, this car like pulls out. Wow. And a spot opens up and like I pull right in and I'm just like, I had tears and I'm just like, wow, like, all right, I'm supposed to be here, you know, but that's like something that's like, you don't line up with scripture like, uh, you're supposed to go to Terranade, you know, you just, you just step out on a limb and say, okay, Lord, like, I think I'm hearing you and I'm just going to go with it. I mean, the worst thing that happens is I don't find a parking spot and then I have an argument with the Lord and then he like still somehow will show up and like touch me and show me where he's at in that moment, you know? And then even then, like I'm walking around the place, I'm like, all right, what am I here? What am I supposed to do? You know? And then like end up talking to this guy and it's okay, whatever. And then like, but then he like leads me to this place. It's like overlooking Catalina Island and this Mm. beautiful epic view and the sunset. And like, I just began to journal and, talked to the and like he just met me in that place and he just had some sweet things for me he was just like kissing my heart that day and with that view and just like so yeah nice yeah that's cool yeah and then like i felt like i was supposed to go inside and actually break fast and eat at this restaurant which was not part of the plan either and then that was super fun and i'm like having wine and talking to the bartender about motorcycles and like the Lord was so in that conversation and it was just such a blessing. And there was a lady that was bartending and she was pregnant and I was like blessing her baby and she was like so touched and it was just like icing on the cake. Nice. It was pretty fun. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Stepping out. I yeah. Want you. <laughs> The inkling. Yeah, and it's not my idea. Like I had my idea. I'm fasting. I'm doing this. I'm doing it here, and the Lord had a whole nother plan. And then at the end, He's like telling me to go feast and like talk to bartenders. Wow. You know, I was like, wow, wow. okay, That's you're nice. so fun. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Way better than your plan. <laughs> yeah, totally. Way better. So pays to be open to His plan. His plan is always way better. Yeah. 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 In terms of hearing God's voice also and in connecting with him, um, I like, I don't know, I, relationally, just thinking like if, if you had a relationship with somebody, but you never heard from them, how stale would that relationship mm, be? That would suck. That would suck. Yeah. Yeah. That would not be a relationship. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. Just thinking about and the, it. there's times where we feel that way with the Lord, obviously. Like, if we're honest with ourselves, it's like, I don't feel like you're speaking, you know? And, like, I was actually talking to a friend today about this, and, like, he was sharing a story of how his sister, who's got a uh, small baby, and, like, her time is limited because she's constantly taking care of the child and she had a time where he's laying down for a nap and so it's like lord all right i want to spend this time from you i want to hear from you like doesn't feel like he's speaking can't hear anything it's just like and then her time's up the baby's awaking she's is crying and so and then she's like in the kitchen like preparing and like doing all this stuff and then she feels like the lord starts speaking to her and she's like Lord, like, I don't have time right now. Uh. You know, it's like, you know, like, I don't feel like I can fully like hear what you're saying because I'm so busy and occupied, you know? And so it's like this, um, like always just being open to like when the Lord wants to speak, how he wants to speak. Sometimes he is silent. Like he didn't speak for what, 400 years in the Old Mm -hmm. Testament. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Yeah. Like, but we don't live in that time right now. We are so blessed to be in the time that we live in right now mm. where it's post resurrection. Yeah. We have the Holy Spirit in us, which is better than Jesus walking around here on yeah. earth with us. Yeah. He lives inside of us. We can hear his voice. Yes. Sometimes he's silent, but he is always present. He's everywhere. He's all around us. And so like just having faith that like, no, he is with me. Mm. And like, be still and know that I'm God. Yeah. Like, I don't always have to be like speaking, mm. like 
and he is all around us and we can have peace and faith and just knowing that yeah and like also not trying to like put him in a box on how he's got to speak or when he's got to speak or yeah. through what he's got to speak through mm-hmm. Yeah, so, I mean, so many different ways. Like, yeah. I find him speaking through people that aren't believers, like, all the time, or even secular music, or just, like, like I'm walking through the alley to my office, and you got to love L.A., because it's just, you never know what you're going to see or encounter. And there's this homeless guy. He's a real sweet black man that's, like, lives under the covered parking, and he's um, playing he, I don't know where he got the speaker, but it's like it's like this big, and he is blaring this dance music, and he is out there just like dancing <laughs> in this alley, and he's just awesome. like having so much fun. And I mean, it just brought so much joy to me, That's and I just cool. like saw the joy of the Lord, and that like mm-hmm. other people are like frowning and almost like you know like. Aww. This guy is being causing a ruckus of it. I mean, I just looked at him and smiled and I saw like the joy of the Lord in him and it like gave me joy. Yeah. Totally. Like, I mean, he can, the Lord speaks through anything. Um, he's everywhere and if we'll just be open to and not put him in a box on how he's, how he wants to do it. Mm, yeah. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Any uh, last thoughts on hearing the voice of God? No, I think, uh, yeah, there's it's so fun to just to grow and just hearing him. The fact, just believing that we can hear from him is mm. life-changing. Yeah. You know, yeah. and yeah, I just want to encourage everybody to to not be afraid to to press in and fail, especially in the midst of community and just, Go for it with people that you feel safe with, that you know their hearts and they love the Lord, and just practice. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, thanks, Benjamin. Yeah. And I'm glad that y'all got to join us for that. Hopefully, it was helpful. And if you'd like to hear more about connecting with God and others, press the subscribe button and the little bell, and we'll see you next time.